welcome to the woods. What a lovely, lovely scene there is. Apologise for the road noise, but what a lovely scene. Look at the beautiful autumn colours that are all around us. Just amazing. Uplifting. Absolutely lovely. And here I've got my long lens. Hopefully we will find something to photograph. I'm hoping to find some fallow deer here in the woods. Um, so I've got to be really quiet. They are so alert and so sensitive to noise and smell. And they've even got quite good eyesight as well. So finding a deer and not scaring it away is really quite a challenge. But that's, one, that's, what, I, no, that's what I love. <laughs> I love that challenge. Um, so let's uh, go and see what we can find. Um, I've also noticed in the couple of minutes that I've been here, um, some amazing fungi. And uh, it's that time of year where there are mushrooms and toadstools everywhere. Um, the forest floor is full of them. Um, many different varieties. But I did somewhere along here, I don't know where it was, somewhere along here, I found, where was it? Somewhere around here, I found a log. A tiny, oh here it is, yes, look at this. <laughs> it's just a little log, but it's absolutely covered. Make a lovely macro photographic subject. Right, so that's enough of uh, looking at fungi for now. Let's go and see if we can find some fallow deer. So I've just come across this area of uh, it's quite difficult to see on camera, I think, but this area where um, fallow deer stags have been scraping their antlers on the ground, uh, which they do this at the, in the rutting season, which we've just had. And um, there are also other signs, there are droppings and so on. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Um, a place where fallow deer stags have been now all we've got to do is find them. I just spotted a deer. Over there. I don't know if you can see it. See this camera. Oh, there's a few of them. They know I'm here. They're running. So at least we know they're here. Um, I, was, I was on a nature reserve yesterday, uh, sitting in a bird eye talking to two guys. And they were both, um, like me, dressed up, in, dressed up in camouflage gear. And we were photographing um, raptors and chuckling about the fact that um, you know, we, we take all this trouble to dress up like idiots in camouflage clothing, but a, a raptor can see you from a long, a long, long way away, whatever clothing you're wearing. Um, and that's the feeling I just got there with these deer, that uh, here I am with my camouflage cap and my camouflage jacket, uh, trying to be quiet and uh, stealthy. And they, uh, they spotted me and, and were off. So I've seen the direction that they've gone in and uh, I'm going to see if I can scout around and uh, 
get near enough to get a photo or two. The um, they they when they know you're there, um, they will they will tolerate you at a certain distance, um, and so it's that distance that I'm going to try to exploit to get a get a photograph or two. Of course, obviously you want to get as close as you can, but. Uh, these are wild animals, and they're skittish, and they're um, they're always on the lookout for, for danger. And uh, anything unfamiliar, like a person or a dog, is a, a potential threat to them. So um, they're just taking precautionary measures. Um, so anyway, let's see if we can. Uh, Oh, I can see. I just saw one run down here. I'm going to turn this looking camera off for a minute and see if I can see if I can get a photo or two. The herd are moving that way. There's quite a few of them. They're just getting little glimpses of them through the trees at the moment. So I've had a lovely day today, um, wandering around in the woods and I've uh, been lucky to come across some deer, uh, some fallow deer to photograph. Uh, fallow deer have different uh, colour forms and the standard colour form is kind of beige coloured fur with white dots. But there are, Epping Forest has um, a mixture of different colour forms of fallow deer. And one of the forms is a is a almost completely black um, uh, fur colour, and that um, and I, I came across a black, a dark form fallow deer in the forest um, stag, who I thought looked quite quite uh, quite stunning, um, but I didn't manage to get a good picture of him. But uh, that's something I could work on in the future. I think he was he was quite. Um, Quite statuesque in his uh, his movements and his pose, so uh, that's a challenge for me for the future. Great fun today, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you very much. <laughs>